What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Cujo Production Sports Talk. I'm Justin Crumley, and I'm joined today by my buddy, everybody's best friend, the love below himself, Vinny Brown. And it's finally here, guys. The World Series is upon us. The battle lines have been drawn, AL versus NL. No, it is not the All-Star game. It is much better than that. We have the New York Mets and the Kansas City Royals. Yes, that is our World Series this year. And that is my beautiful artwork that you are looking at. All right. Well, uh, this is basically just going to be us giving our opinion on who we think is going to win, who we want to win, and any kind of advantages that we think either team has. Vinny, I'm going to start with you. Who do you think is going to win this? Who do you want to win it? The stage is yours, though you cannot take it home. I got the New York Mets winning in six. Okay, New York Mets in six. All right, I, I like it. Why, though? What do you, why do you think New York's got the, you're going to win it in six? What great pitching, it? great hitting. All right. All the Royals have? Bullpen. They have a, well, they have good pitching, too. And I think Johnny Cueto, you know, as bad as he's been in the postseason before, he's actually – he was pretty good this time around. Wasn't great by any means, but he was good. Uh, I think uh, the Royals did enough to beat the Blue Jays. I really thought the Blue Jays were – we're going to win. I was setting up for a Blue Jays-Cubs World Series. That's what I wanted, but uh, I didn't get it. I'm not going to be a spoiled brat about it. I'm just going to take it for what it is. Now, anyone that knows me knows that I hate the Royals. I'm sorry. I'm a hater. I'm a Tigers fan. I'm not supposed to love the Royals. So I definitely want the New York Mets to win this, uh, this matchup. Now, do I think they're going to win? Well, it depends on what team shows up. The New York Mets, they have a hell of a pitching rotation. You have Matt Harvey, Eric Syndergaard, and a few other guys I forgot the names of. Jacob DeGrom. Uh, yeah, Jacob. Matt, uh, Matt Harvey. Yeah, I already named oh. all them. But I think as far as rotation goes, they definitely had the advantage. With the bats, it could go either way, but Daniel Murphy has been on fire. He recently just broke uh, – what what's his name? Uh, I think it's uh, – Place for the Yankees. I forgot his name. It's like, it's not, no. Uh, he played for the, the Cardinals a couple of years ago. How do I forget his name? Oh, my God. Carlos Beltran. Carlos Beltran. He, wow, that was, uh, that was bad. I had to remember Carlos Beltran. But Carlos Beltran previously had the record for most consecutive postseason games of the home run. Five games in a row. Five games in a row. Well, Daniel Murphy broke that. He now has the record with six games in a row. Seven. Six? I thought it was six. Oh. I think it's six. He has six in a row where uh, he has a home run, and that's the record, and that's still going. So if he hits a home run in game one, it'll extend to seven and so on. So I think as far as bats go, I think the Mets, I think I'm going to lean more towards the Mets. And Yohannes Suspidus has been tearing it up with the New York Mets. Bullpen? <sighs> I don't know, man. The Mets have had a good bullpen, but I'm going to have to give that one to the Royals. The Royals' bullpen has been absolutely uh, built. I mean, not unstoppable, but built. That's what they pride themselves on, though, is having a good bullpen. That's they lost been... Greg They lost Greg Holland for the rest of the year. Not a big deal. They got Wade Davis closing games for him. They got Kelvin Herrera coming in and tearing it up. You know, uh now there's, uh, there's a little bit of some controversy following the Royals' win, and I'm not just talking about the Eric Hosmer home run. I was on Facebook the other uh, last night, actually, and uh, my buddy John Check, who runs a YouTube channel called the John Check Sports Media, you should definitely check him out. He's, uh, he's a cool guy. He knows his stuff. He was talking about how Wade Davis got lucky. He, uh, he apparently balked a pitch with a man at third, so that should have brought a run in. And then there was uh, the umpire being extremely generous with the strike zone, forcing Ben Revere to basically swing at garbage pitching and, you know, hit a chase. And, I mean, when you're getting that kind of treatment, you know, I, I know a lot of Royals fans' reaction would be, well, you know what, they're just making excuses. Uh. You know, but uh, I just, you know what, I could sort of see it. I don't know. I just don't like the Royals. So anytime someone rails them, I kind of like them. But uh, if my buddy John's right about it, then I think it's bullshit that that's how it, it had to come down to. 
And I think if the Royals had lost that game to the uh, to the Blue Jays, they went to the Rogers Center for Game Seven. They went on. No, they they th- would they have went to the Rogers Center? Yes. Yeah, they would. <sighs> yeah, I think they they would have. I don't know if they had to go to a Game Seven. They wouldn't have won. They would not have won. Actually, I don't. I don't think. I think they would have stayed in Kansas City. I'm not. Well, whatever. If it went to a Game Seven, the 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 Blue Jays probably would have won because the momentum was on their side. But I don't know. Uh, John went on to say they got bailed out. He hopes the Mets destroy them, and I do too. I'm definitely hoping for the Mets. They haven't won it in a long time, nor have the Royals. Now, here's a little tidbit for everybody watching this. The Royals are the uh, are the first team to go to back-to-back World Series since the Texas Rangers. Now, when the Texas Rangers did it, they lost to the Giants, and then they lost to the Cardinals. Well, the Royals lost to the Giants last year. Can they uh, can they break that streak? I hope not. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your hopes for the World Series? Who do you want to win? Go nuts in the comments section. Say whatever the hell you want. It's open game, open season here, and I'm welcoming anything. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos, more awesome content. I hope you guys are enjoying Creepy Pastathon. That's still going on. If you haven't caught up, all the videos are on my channel. For uh, for Vinny Brown, I'm Justin Crumley. This is Cujo Productions, signing out.